Well, praise the Lord, MDC. It is almost council time. Time for our November council session. And I want all of us to connect together, have a great time. Well, still is virtual. You would like to come together in person, but for your safety, we're still presenting a virtual council. Now, we've got a lot going on, so get your paper, get your pencils, get your phone, whatever, record what I'm going to say, because you want to make sure you schedule your time to be part of the council. Though we may not be physical, but thank God through technology, we can all connect together. Well, our council theme is for this November council, a troubled world. Is the church ready to work? I want you to think about that. A troubled world is the church ready to work. It's time for all of us as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ to get ourselves ready for some new adventure, for new victory, and we will move forward from this pandemic and not be left behind. So let me tell you some of the things that are gonna take place. Every morning, beginning on Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we're gonna have prayer from 9 a.m. to 9.30. You can dial in, so go to our website, get the phone number, Dial in for this power pack prayer as we all come together to go boldly before the throne of grace. If you believe, like I believe, that when we come together and pray together, we expect for great things to take place. So make sure you tune in for prayer. Now, every day at 10 o'clock on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we're going to have panel discussions. And the panel discussions for this council will be on Wednesday. A troubled world, a troubled church, is the church in trouble. We've got some great people, part of the panel. You want to hear this discussion? Can we help us all start focusing what we need to do to do our work for God in the earth? On Thursday, we have young men strength, old men wisdom, the power of unity. It is so important right now when people are talking about a generation gap. We need to come together and work together. Yes, the older men, they have something to offer. The young men, it's enough. When I say men, I'm not excluding the women. I'm including everybody. But we all need to start strategizing to make our jobs more effective. Not have a generation gap, but as believers work together in the body of Christ to do a great job to win souls to Christ. On Friday we have how the church can rescue a troubled world. Well, my friend, remember, our job as ambassadors for Christ, we are to share the gospel, the good news, because the world needs some good news. Well, right now, this pandemic time, people are depressed, people are confused. They need to hear some good news from you and from me and from the church. So make sure you stay tuned every day for these three days for the panel discussion. But guess what? The day's not over. It's just warming up. Because at noontime, we're going to have our midday speakers. And our midday speakers are going to be preaching the socks off of all of us. So on Wednesday, we have Pastor David Berry from World Outreach Christian Center. On Thursday, we have District Elder LaRue Sutherland from the Apostolic Doctrine Church of God. And on Friday, we have Pastor Doris Gilmore Graham from Balanced Life Ministry. She's going to balance us out as she preached the gospel, everybody. So you don't want to miss this midday. You need to pick me up. Tune in to the NBC Council. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we're going to have our auxiliary meetings. And I encourage you to be part. On Wednesday, we have the women, the men, the singles. On Thursday, we have the Sunday school, the ushers. On Friday, we have the missions and the ministers' wives. Make sure at 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock, you tune into these auxiliaries and become part. It is so important that we as children of God find how to work together to impact one another's life, our churches, our families, and our communities. And then, I want to remind you, at 645 every night before service, now on Tuesday night and Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we're going to have prayer warriors kicking off getting us ready for service. But on those night services, on Tuesday night, which is our young people, let us all say amen for the young people. Let us come together as 
their speaker be Elder Stuart Stout III from House of Deliverance. Father that says when you mess up, come on, let's pray together. Come on, let's entreat one another. Come on, let's give you another chance. Come on, you're not there, you're not dead yet, you have another day. So we thank God for the Father. So when I mess up, the master and the friend has to step back and God the Father has to step up and say my grace is sufficient for thee. When I On Wednesday night, we got the powerful Pastor Carlton Francis from new life in power still rage but i'm not subject to the effects of the storm because i got a word from god I'm, and the word from god came in a peaceful moment the word from god came in a still moment the word from god came at a time when i was by myself alone with no distractions hearing from god on thursday night we got the dynamic bishop alona dixon pastor of radiant life in christ I'm carried by the Lord through trials, through tribulation, through sickness, through pain. Hallelujah. He's there. He's there. Thank you. And on Friday night, you got me, your diocesan, Get Bishop it. Larry. How good I was to you. You stayed in the wilderness, the desert, for 40 some years, but even in the desert. I showed you how I could feed you uh, where there was no food. Uh. I said, I'd give you water where there was nothing for you to drink. Uh. Therefore, what is your history, my friend? How many of you right now could go back and reflect on your own life uh, if it had not been for God? I want us all to tune in for this exciting council. See, my friend, I want to encourage you with this. We may be in a pandemic. You may feel depressed. You may, have, may not even been to church yet. But guess what? We coming together and coming together with a mindset that we're going to move forward. Let's make 2022 the best year yet in the church history. Matter of fact, let's start right now today. So be encouraged. Make your registration. Go to our website. It's register. Get involved. Tell us other people about it. Let's have the best council we've ever had. So my friends, see you in November. That's right, November 9th through the 13th for our council. And we go into virtual using technology that we can connect together and then spread the word together. God bless you all and have a great day.